am okay lately I've been having a few questions about my program that I use uh, uh, I mean about the program that I use to record the games such as Halo or Lego Star Wars um, what you, there are multiple ones there's Fraps there's game cam and there's another one that's free but I would have to say Fraps is the best because it makes it in the smallest file which is like well the longer it is the bigger the file will be obviously um, It, the file size is usually like a you know, one gigabyte if it's ten minutes. I don't know. It depends on what you're doing. Now, what you can usually do is go to for the Fraps one I have is go to Fraps.com, and it'll bring you to a homepage kind of like this. It'll say beep up there. That's just the company. Um, so right now the homepage is just telling you about what Fraps is. Um, it'll capture your screen and everything. It will uh, give you little segments down here of what you can use. Um, the news tab right here tells you the latest version of it and the updates and the patches for it. Right now the latest version is 2.8.2 .2, and it was out on 20 on December 21st last year in 2006. Uh, fix the gamma not being applied to the video in some DirectX games. Yeah, it just tells you whatever it is. Um, if you want to download it, this is just the free version and it's kind of more like a demo. Um, and it tells you what you require to use it because you have to download it and then you'll install it. So yeah, it is. The, it isn't the registered users. Please visit the members area for the full version. Once you download it, it'll come up with something kind of like this, and I'll show you about that later. If you want to buy it and you need a PayPal account, if you want to buy it, go over to the Buy tab. It'll come up with a bunch of stuff here. It'll tell you that the updates are free, which is good. It is thirty-seven dollars. It'll say somewhere. It'll tell you somewhere that it's thirty-seven dollars for it. Um, and it's actually worth it because then it makes the file smaller than it would, and you won't have the stamp of the company on it. Once you have done everything and then created an account, you would want to go to the members area tab and click here to go to the members area downloads. And I'm not going to because it says my name, and I don't want my name up here. Blah, blah. Um, if you want to pour or whatever else. I don't know, I've never been here before. Or contact us, just go there and do everything else. Um, right now I have Fraps running. And if it's down here, you would either want to double click on it, you might have to do that twice. And then you're going to have to go to settings. You can also view the movies that you have made and your screenshots during the game. Now, the general tab right here, it says my name, but it's got pretty straightforward stuff. Um, is my name and I don't want it on there. The FPS tab is frames per second. Uh, this right here means the when you're playing the game, it'll usually by default it'll be in that one or that one, and the word and there'll be letters showing you how many frames per second are happening. And the yellow ones make it make it that it where it's not recording, and when you hit the record button, it will be red. Um, you can switch it to any corner you like. I personally like this one because it's out of the way. Or you can disable it, but it might get confusing because the things aren't there. And it does not appear in videos when it's uploaded onto YouTube. At least mine aren't, I don't think. Um, everything else, you want to leave these unchecked unless you want to do that. Uh, once I'm going to the movies, it'll show me what it's going to save in. I switched mine because it had my name and I don't want it in again. Um, Mine is just going to save on my C drive. If you wanted to record half size, then you just got to then it'll be smaller, but it'll be a smaller file size. Full size will be a bigger file size, but it'll be big enough to put anywhere. Um, the fast if you have a slow computer, you can set it to you would probably set it to 25 frames per second. And if you have a faster one, you can set it to 30, 50, or 60. Mine is at 60 and it's pretty good. Uh, you can also make your a custom one which might be pretty good. Uh, I set mine to the detect best sound input, which is recording sound, and it'll record the stereo mix, so it'll record the sound coming from your game. Or you can use the Windows input and use a microphone. As you can see, my microphone is showing up. Now, this part is the most important part. What you're going to have to do, really, is just like a... 
set it to whatever you want. I set mine to the slash because it's easiest, but by default it will be F9. And you can disable that if you want, so you won't accidentally record whatever you're doing. Uh, if you don't want it to be saved in the fraps, if you don't want it to be saved in the C slash fraps uh, folder, then you can just hit change and go whatever folder. The screenshots, kind of the same thing. Um, I have mine set to JPEG. This, you can, like, repeat the screen capture every however many seconds you want. So that means it'll take a snapshot every 10 seconds for mine is that, if you set it there until the hotkey is pressed again. I set mine to the equal sign. You can set yours to whatever. Uh, mine again is saving in the C drive. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know, but when you are in the game, you just, whenever you want, for this part, you will see the numbers uh, there unless you have disabled it. And if you want, you can just start recording whenever and then have fun with making your movie. I kind of hope this cleared it up for the people who are asking me, and uh, I hope this helps some of you, so yeah, bye.